in the words of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, peace at home, peace in the world. These words, profound in their simplicity, were first voiced by a man born in Salonika, back in 1881, within the confines of the Ottoman Empire. A young boy named Mustafa, who would grow to become the remarkable Atatürk, was in the early stages of his life's journey. The boy's education was not typical for the era. Instead of the traditional Ottoman teachings, Mustafa was exposed to ideas of nationalism, reform and modernization. These concepts, foreign and radical at the time, left an indelible mark on the young mind. They would later become the bedrock of his vision for a new Turkey. His early life, a blend of humble beginnings and transformative education, was the crucible in which the future leader was formed. Little did the world know, a leader, a visionary, was taking shape in the heart of the Ottoman Empire. What makes a warrior? Is it his courage or his strategic brilliance? These questions come to life as we trace the footsteps of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk's military career. It all began at the military academy in Istanbul, where the seeds of his warrior spirit were sown. His strategic brilliance was first on display during the Italo-Turkish War, followed by the Balkan Wars. His command was put to the ultimate test in the Gallipoli campaign, a turning point in the war that spotlighted his extraordinary leadership. At the helm of the Ottoman forces, he expertly defended the Dardanelles Strait against the Allied onslaught. His tactical brilliance and indomitable spirit earned him the title of the Hero of Anafartala. However, his heroism on the battlefield was not solely a product of his tactical acumen. Atatürk's empathy, charisma and ability to inspire his troops were equally instrumental in his success. His words, I don't order you to fight, I order you to die. In the time it takes us to die, other troops and commanders can come and take our places, have echoed through the annals of history, a testament to his unyielding resolve. His ability to strategize, even amidst the chaos of war, set him apart from his peers. But it was during World War I that Ataturk's military prowess truly shone. His strategic genius in the battlefields of Kanakali, where he held the line against invading forces, marked a significant turning point in his career. His rise to prominence wasn't just a personal triumph, but a beacon of hope for his people. In the heart of the chaos, a warrior emerged, soon to turn the tides of his nation. A nation's strength lies in its unity, its people, and its leader. Such was the belief of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, a man of extraordinary vision and unwavering resolve. In the tumultuous period that followed World War I, the once mighty Ottoman Empire lay in ruins. It was a time of despair and uncertainty, a time when the very soul of a nation was at stake. But from this despair emerged a beacon of hope, Atatürk. The War of Independence, fought fiercely against the Allied forces, was a testament to his military acumen and indomitable spirit. He rallied his people, inspiring them with a vision of a sovereign nation, free from foreign domination. But Atatürk's vision extended far beyond the battlefield. He saw a future where Turkey stood tall among the nations of the world, not as an old empire clinging to past glories, but as a modern, secular, democratic republic. And so, in 1923, he established the Republic of Turkey, marking the birth of a new nation. But the birth of a nation was just the beginning. Atatürk embarked on a series of sweeping political, legal and cultural reforms that would forever change the face of Turkey. He replaced the old Ottoman laws with a new, modern legal framework. He abolished the caliphate, separating religion from state affairs, and introduced a Latin-based alphabet, replacing the Arabic script. These reforms, radical for their time, aimed to transform Turkey into a progressive, forward-looking nation. Atatürk's leadership was not just about grand visions or radical reforms. It was about the courage to challenge the status quo, the conviction to stand against the tide of history, and the compassion to guide his people towards a better future. His actions reflected his belief in the power of unity, the spirit of the people, and the responsibility of a leader. From the ashes of the old arose a new nation under the steadfast leadership of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. His vision, his leadership and his legacy continue to shape the Republic of Turkey to this day. True leaders are those who leave an indelible mark on history. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the first president of Turkey, is one such leader. His death in 1938 did not mark the end of his influence. Rather, it was the foundation of his enduring legacy. 
Ataturk's ideals of secularism, nationalism and modernism continue to shape modern Turkey. He envisioned a nation where religion and state were separate, where every citizen identified as Turkish first and where modern ideas were embraced. His contribution to these principles cannot be overstated. Today, Ataturk's face is a common sight across Turkey, a testament to his lasting impact. His words still echo in the halls of Turkish institutions, in the hearts of its citizens, and within its laws and policies. His influence is so profound, it is hard to imagine Turkey without the imprint of Ataturk. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, a name etched in history, a legacy that transcends time. And as Ataturk himself once said, a good teacher is like a candle, it consumes itself to light the way for others. His light continues to guide